Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Well, little boy, what would you like from Santa this year? I want a Wii. Really? But you know you can't play because you got paws, and the whole controller thing isn't built for doggies. No, I have to Wii. Oh, you have to Wii. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. Okay, Wicket, go ahead and you, you do your thing over there. And while you are, I'm going to be reading a top five list tips for the Wii, especially if... You uh, are a new owner of a Nintendo Wii, uh, since that is a hot item uh, this holiday season, uh, then maybe this list will be germane, if you happen to be named germane. No, that's, I, it's a different spelling. Uh, this top five list was submitted by Matt Krieger, a new regular watcher of the show on YouTube and live.perillo.com. Uh, number five, there have been tons of shortages on Wiis since they first came out. Get them on eBay, but stay at your price limit. The Wii can be found if you wait long enough. Just a, just a wee, a wee more time, and it, you could probably save a few bucks. Uh, in fact, uh, I didn't even open our Wii for a while, and it, had I not offered it to my parents, and had they not accepted, I would likely be retiring in the Bahamas for the price I could have sold the Wii for on eBay uh, this time of year since they are so hot. Wicket, you shouldn't be doing that to the hat. Number four, get the right cables for your Wii. Gold-plated cables often bring good quality images, at least according to Matt. I got mine on Amazon.com for under three bucks, and they work great. That's another thing you got to keep in mind, even if it's not a Wii. When you buy some kind of electronic equipment as a gift, Make sure you have batteries. Make sure you have all the cords and cables, because that's the worst. You know, opening things up and saying, uh, wait a minute, I can't use this until tomorrow because I need cords and cables and batteries and whatnot. So I guess I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to extend that tip to beyond the Wii. Number three, if you own a Wii and update it, you may see a question mark data file. Don't delete it, as it may mess the Wii up, and likely more than just a wee bit. Number two, the Wii has settings like the Xbox 360 to set it for widescreen TVs. Like many people before me, they had problems on their TVs getting a good picture from their Wiis. So be sure to check those settings. Number one, never update a Wii until other people have updated theirs and claim they had problems or not. Wii.com has up-to-date info about firmware updates available. Uh, that holds true for just about anything uh, related to software updates. Just because it's the latest uh, firmware revision or software update for the system doesn't make it the best. Sometimes there are bugs that are inherent with those updates. So uh, that's a pretty solid list of Wii tips. Now, granted, as I mentioned before, I had a Wii, but it was still in the box, so I, I really can't pass along any personal Wii tips, but maybe you have a few more Wii tips that would be helpful for the community at large or those of you out there who are Wii users or uh, wish to help new Wii users. Wii, it just, I don't know, I'm still not used to it. Xbox is, that, that sounds cool, Xbox. PlayStation, I can, I can jive with, but Wii? Wii? Anyway, uh, if you've got any other top five list, whether it's related to gaming consoles, the holiday season, technology, or not technology, doesn't matter, send any top five list to me, my email address is chris at perillo.com, and uh, I'm available pretty much year round, unless of course I'm playing with my Christmas presents, and I have a feeling uh, for Christmas I'm going to get nothing but batteries, because I, I've been naughty, and uh, I have not uh, furnished Mrs. Santa Claus the uh, holiday wish list uh, of items that I would like to see under the tree behind me. Anyway, my email address again is chris at perillo.com in the chat room, which has been, you know, going on here. You see what's going on down here? Right there? Those are people chatting live because we're streaming this video live out onto the internet 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And you can join us at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.